Well, have a look at this place for a stealth camp. We're facing east. Now I'm panning around, and there's where the closest houses are. That's due north, west, south has got this huge bank, sand bank. And on the far side is a crater. Oh my word, how beautiful. If I wanted to disappear forever, I could go and live in the crater on the far side of this embankment. And no one would find me. So, what I've always wanted to do is to create a bed on a bank. And that is what I'm going to try and attempt to do. Have you ever seen anything more lethal and deadly looking than a sawn off spade? You've heard of a sawn off shotgun. This is a sawn off spade. That is a evil, evil thing. But anyway, I'm going to dig sand out of the bank push it down and create a place where my bed can sleep on a bank, then I'm hoping to cover it with branches and camouflage so that I merge and disappear a little bit into this bank. The only people who could ever see me is from one little window over there, but it's going to be camouflaged. So I'm going to set up a camera. And I'm going to start digging this little area. So, let's see if we can get this going. Well, I have hardly been going for five minutes and I have a perfectly lovely air bed sized flat area where I can bring my air bed, pump it up and sleep here. What a lovely stealth camping site. What is so nice is when you dig, you can push the soil off almost downhill so it's easier to um, get rid of the soil and there were just a few roots in it it's mostly sea sand when I go stealth camping I'm always aware of litter but you look at that litter it is almost falling apart from plastic fatigue and there is my stealth site so I'm not particularly worried that this place has been visited in a long time Well, look how nicely set up we are here for the night. It's just a little worrying. There's one house here that would be able to see me from their windows. So we will have to try and not make, I see the window is open, try and not make too much light when it gets dark and just hope no one's there and looking out. Pretty well. I'm going to hide under this tarpaulin and darkness is coming on so that's my friend in stealth so we could for now just lay out this bag What surprised me was month, about a, what, many, many weeks ago I leveled this bed and I was filming with this little Lego tripod 
and I left it here and it's still here so it shows that nobody's been past here in the few weeks since I was here so that's very encouraging this is my gimbal that I was trying out the time lapse with so I brought some spaghetti and meatballs some sherry some tea um, I think I'm going to I brought my this is my blow up bed and I've got a pillow and that's about all we need yeah I think I'm gonna make my food later on when it gets a bit darker so for now I think I'm just gonna have some sherry I'm gonna use the, the cup and so we've got our little camping stove there too and we've got our pixie pot to cook the spaghetti and meatballs in I brought a spoon luckily it's one of these tins that opens I didn't want anything but a spoon so I had to burn the cord that holds this side of the yeah I had to burn the string that holds that side of the sheet of camouflaging that's going to cover me tonight because I didn't have a knife and there the other side are tied to a tree from here it's less visible there's one branch I was just thinking if I could just stick one branch in the way there I would be completely stealthy just look how wonderful I'm gonna have a view of the sky tonight I'm so excited about that I've been putting off stealth camping till there was a clear windless night like tonight so I can see the stars as it gets darker wow 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 so excited about this don't know how dark this is going to be so we've got our sherry we've got a little tea cup which I'm gonna have to drink the sherry out of so this is the only bottle I could find to contain the sherry I must admit I am super grateful to be here tonight I'm so looking forward to sleeping here on a slope under this piece of camouflage top I've always wanted to sleep on a sandbank just have a look at the sandbank behind me and over this this is a, like a crater of sand and over that crater in that crater you could be hidden you could hide a whole army in there and it's totally isolated so I'm quite keen on one day maybe building a little subterranean home in the bank on the other side of this place where it isn't far away from the houses anyway cheers this is the sherry it's lovely i'm busy facing east i hope the sun's not in our eyes i hope we see something here but like i say i'm just so super grateful i'm not a person who normally gets too depressed because i do spend a lot of time since my youth working on my mental health trying to psychoanalyze myself and saying well what's depressing you and then using techniques to make sure that you ask yourself things like well what's the worst that can happen and then you see how it's not too bad or oh i'm depressed because i care what other people think well why do you care what other people think who cares what other people think and then you sort of and don't compare yourself with other people because that's just going to make you depressed don't just be satisfied with the way you were constructed and made your weaknesses your strengths that makes you uniquely you and normally I can talk myself out of if I do ever feel depressed or feel worried or for feel fear or feel um, guilty or, or inadequate I can normally 
rationally talk myself out of it. I can rationally analyze it and say, oh, well, this is all stupid. You just, you're just being irrational. But a few days ago, I just was feeling a little low, a little depressed. And I thought, gee. And I thought, well, let's try gratitude. Let's just, instead of looking at what I haven't got, you know, they were stupid things that I didn't have. You know, I can't even remember really what they were. I, I know they were really just stupid things. And then I looked at the glass half full kind of thing and started just analyzing. I mean, I, I could do it right here. Just have a look at that mountain there I mean it doesn't look much to look at but it, it's just gorgeous this whole area is quiet it's calm I'm away from everything I'm making a video I'm drinking sherry I'm about to eat meatballs and spaghetti I'm going to spend the night sleeping here and looking at the sky I feel just so happy so blessed so content I just can't I've got reasonable health and then I started just making just spending time just listing all the things that I have to be grateful for I've got friends that I love I've got family members around me that I love sure I don't see as them as much as I would like to but man I'm so grateful for compared to so many people you know I've got two family members that live with me which is wonderful and you know and an in-law so it's just too terrific i have all the loving people around me thank the good lord it's not anything i deserve but gee so i start analyzing yeah i've got all this to be thankful for i'm not starving i all the many what you could call little <laughs> niggling pains i've had plantar fasciitis i've had sciatica i've had crooked knee and knee that was cropped I fell the other day on my roof and banged my knee and I couldn't walk for a few days and you know all these and I, at one stage I strained my sprained my ankle flying paragliding and couldn't walk for a couple of years and I had frozen shoulder tennis elbow I've had it all but at the moment I'm just all these niggles have gone away I can walk here I can sleep here I can feel safe here Unless that house sees me and calls someone the security to come and haul me away. And I just feel so utterly blessed to be here to I'm looking forward to having you know, I've got a little stove, I've got a pump up mattress to sleep on. It's just so incredibly comfortable. The weather is absolutely perfect. It's been windy, it's been rainy, it's been everything, but I um but deliberately look for a night where there's no wind, no clouds to block the star view. I'm going to see all my friends, the constellations again. I love these constellations. They're all familiar old friends. You can see an eagle or some bird, perhaps a jackal buzzard, circling a hill there, miles away. And it just reminds me of when I used to paraglide. And it's kind of not quite in a thermal. I think it would have a tighter but it's circling there, it's, perhaps there is a thermal there, late afternoon, evening thermal. Oh boy. So you've got your health, you've got, and I've, I don't think I've got anything more than most people have got. I really don't think so. In fact, I think talent wise and ability wise and sociability wise and brains wise and probably in every way I'm no better off than anybody else in this world but I just think that if you look at instead of what you haven't got or compare yourself to all the brilliant people in the world but just look at what you have got and it's not even what you've got that makes you happy it's just being content with what you've got that makes you happy having food and raiment be there with content it's one of my favorite scriptures Thank you, Paul. Yeah, so here we are. Going to soon, as I say, crack open those meatballs. That's a meal fit for a king. They're not the tastiest, but I've got some um, tomato paste to put with it. That'll be quite nice.
I'm not totally hungry yet. I'd rather wait an hour or two when it's dark and then cook the the meatballs. So yeah, it's I think and I just posted a video on an anemometer I made. It was fun making it, it's fun doing things. Thank the good lord I've still got most of my marbles are intact. I can I can invent stuff, put dry stuff out and just enjoy seeing like a stupid anemometer spinning in the wind. Yeah, it took about four failed attempts but eventually eventually it worked and it's doing fine. And we'll think of something else to do and stick on YouTube. And I think it's just so wonderful to just if you're feeling down, just stop listing listing all the things you have. Not stop when you think of something you don't have. Just think of what you do have. You know? So when you're pain free, oh, that's just such a blessed thing. Because if you've been full of pain and you've had knees and joints and everything else that doesn't work, it's just so nice when they do work. So this is the evening. I was trying out my gimbal. I just hope I put it on to 0.3 of a second. So it's going to take three frames a second, which I hope is enough so that it doesn't look too bouncy and shaky. And I'm hoping that I can show how I got here. And I like being on a slope. It's this one. I want to make slope sleeping a more regular thing because I like slopes because snakes don't do well on snow slopes. I don't think snakes go well up slopes, and I don't think they like sliding down slopes, so I think I'm pretty good on a slope. And if there was water running here, I would have a plastic top in place of this, which would be over me, and that would shed the water, hopefully, over me. So I really want to try just digging a flat thing like I've done here on the slope, and then sleeping on slopes. Oh, I love the concept. I don't like being in a underground cavern I just think it's going to have sand dripping on you it's dark it's depressing I just love being able to see the stars in the sky so yeah I'm super stoked and happy to to be here tonight and um, yeah I suppose I could try and block up put a few branches in place there to stop people seeing me but maybe putting the branches up would it Tracked attention, I don't know, and I haven't got anything to cut the branches, they'd have to be old branches. Maybe I'll just ignore it and hope for the best, but otherwise, if it wasn't for that one house's window, I'm perfectly well hidden here. So, we trust for a lovely night, and I hope you enjoy this video, and the only thing I'm going to do left now when it gets darker, and I'm feeling a bit hungry as to make some uh, meatballs and spaghetti. But for now, I did have a big lunch. I had my sister made a lovely ooh, chicken and roast potatoes and corn and carrots and gravy. And then we had a milk tart, biscuits for dessert. I think I'm, oh, we had onions that were roasted onions as well. I might have missed a few things, but it was such a delicious lunch that I'm, I'm really not quite hungry enough for the meatballs, and I know later this evening I'm going to definitely be hungry. So, that's, we're looking forward to sleeping here. Well, it's four o'clock in the morning. I've had a beautiful sleep on my pillow and my Lovely mattress here. I think I slept almost better than I do at home because it's more comfortable. It's really, the sleeping bag is so warm and this air mattress is just so comfortable. But as I say, it's four in the morning. There's a moon above me. It's clouds clouded over. I didn't get to make any meatballs and spaghetti and it's a little bit windy to be cooking here now so with it clouding over not that I'd think it's going to rain the weather report said no rain but I think it's going to be good to clear out 
here while it's dark and yeah there's plenty of moonlight for me to see to get going so wow what a I slept beautifully what a wonderful stealth camp it was here on a slope stealth camping on a slope I see no disadvantages just thoroughly enjoyed it all